I say yo, welcome to the BBW show, you feel me? We talk battle rap, basketball, and wrestling. Topic today is basketball. More importantly, mid-season awards, you feel me? I already did the most improved player so far. I already did MVP so far. I already did six men of the year so far. Now, we about to get down into the defensive player of the year so far for this season. Now, this is a hard award because they don't have no criteria. They don't. Sometimes they give it to guys that defend on the perimeter. Sometimes they give it to shot blockers. Sometimes they give it to guys that play the passing lane and just get steals. So there's no definitive criteria for the defensive player of the year award every single year. Now... Last year, they gave it to Marcus Smart of Boston Celtics. He averaged, what, 1.7 steals last year? Very good year for Marcus Smart. And he was the only guard to ever win it besides Gary Payton. Big deal. Very, very big deal. Now, who do I got winning it this year? These are my three candidates. So far, it could change too. Um, Brooke Lopez of the Milwaukee Bucks. Shout out to Brooke Lopez, bro. If you've been watching the A for a very long time, Brooke Lopez 10 years ago was not a shot blocker. He was nowhere near a shot blocker. He was a straight three-point shooter. That's it. Only a three-point shooter. So now you fast forward five, six years to see him as a shot blocker, damn near leading the A in blocks. He's like, what, number two? 2.5 blocks a game, bro. Brooke Lopez. And he played in 51 games, averaged 14.2 and seven rebounds. Very good, bro. Brooke Lopez really became a defensive player, bro. That's really nice to see. Like, other niggas would have just stayed in that bubble. But he really worked on his defense. Shout out to him. He's number two for me. I mean, he's number... Yeah, yeah. He's number three for me. Number... Well, whatever. Num- another candidate. OG Ananobi of the Toronto Raptors. This is somebody I feel like should get traded. Everybody in the A wants OG Alanobi. I don't care who you are. I don't care who you are. Everybody wants him. The Lakers, the Bucks, the Mavs, the Kings, the Grizzlies, with that Memphis, I mean Milwaukee, every team, Atlanta, every team wants OG Alanobi, bro. He really is a good defender. Very good defender. He don't need the ball that much. You feel me? You can just post him up, get easy buckets. Like, nice little drop-off dom. Very good, bro. Right now, he's averaging 2.1 steals. He's leading the A in the steals. OG Adenobi. And he's a big forward. You feel me? He's a strong forward. He can guard perimeter, all of that. He's averaging 16.9 points a game. That's crazy, bro. That's crazy. Right now, he's on the right. Cause I, don't be surprised if he get traded. Don't be surprised. I don't know when I'm putting this video out, but at this moment, he's a Raptor. I would not be surprised if that changes in a few hours. So, OG Adenobi is another candidate. Um, The number one guy who I have right now at this moment for Defensive Player of the Year, Nick Claxton of the Brooklyn Nets. Nick Claxton of the Brooklyn Nets. Shout out to him. Shout out to Nick Claxton of the Brooklyn Nets. He's probably their only big, if we're being honest. He's their only big. When he goes out, they put Ben Simmons as the center. So he's their only big in Brooklyn right now. Right now, Claxton is averaging 2.6 blocks a night. Wow. That's crazy. Leading the A in blocks. He's averaging 14.2 points, 6.3 rebounds. Wow. Wow. When I did my most improved list, I definitely had Nick Claxton up there. Definitely I am up there. He's having a breakout year this year. Breakout year this year right now on the Brooklyn Nets. Besides, I would say the three best players on the Nets this season so far. Kevin Durant, Kyrie, Nick Claxton, Ben Simmons. Honestly, honestly, Nick Claxton has been a more of an impact on the Brooklyn Nets than Ben Simmons has. That's crazy to think about. That's crazy to think about. He's my DPOI. He's definitely my DPOI. He he has an impact, a very, very impact. Like I said, he's the best defender on Brooklyn easily. And he's in their big three. You feel me? He's in their big three. Not to credit Chris, not to credit Brooke Lopez, but when Chris Middleton is there, it's Giannis, 
Chris Middleton, Drew Holiday, then maybe they find Brook Lopez. You feel me? He's not in that option like that. Nick Claxton has been a focal point of the Brooklyn Nets offense too because Ben Simmons has not been doing good on offense. So not only defensively, but his offense too is helping and carrying him. So that's why I think I classed as my DPO wide this year. So far, so far, we only in February. This can change. This definitely could change. But threes are my top three. Brooke Lo Dick Claxton, Brook Lopez, OG Adenobi. Those are my three players for DPO wide. Um, I, I could see it going to a big. I'm not going to. I could see it going to a big. I don't think it's going to go to another guard this year. There's no wild guards that's really lighting the world on fire defensively. You got Mikel Bridges in Phoenix. He's okay. Um, Marcus Smart is doing good. DeJounte Murray, as always, doing good. I think Jimmy Butler. That's crazy, too. Jimmy Butler, the Heat of the Miami Heat, is leading the Aiden Steels right now. That's crazy. But I don't think he's going to be went deep here a while. But I think it's going to go to a big this year. I'm not going to lie. I think it's going to go to a big. I think it's going to go to a big. And I think it's going to go to Brooklyn. So... Shout out to Brooklyn for that one. That's just my opinion. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at HRW underscore podcast. Follow me on Twitter at Hoops Wrestling. I'll be back with more.